virtual studios are useful in a variety of situations. By utilizing a virtual studio for your video production, you have the freedom to place your talent in any type of surrounding and to update your background with ease. In this video, I will show you how to use a virtual studio with Adobe After Effects. The techniques we learn in this tutorial can also be applied to a number of other nonlinear editors. First, open After Effects and import your footage files. You should have a video file that contains your talent shot on a green screen, the virtual studio layer, and a layer of video footage to place in the virtual studio monitor. Now, create a composition and drag the three files into the composition. Make sure your files are in the following order from the top. The first layer contains your talent footage shot on green screen. The next layer is your virtual set. The bottom layer will be the footage you would like displayed in the virtual studio. Select the top layer with your talent. Next, click effect in the toolbar, scroll down to keying, and select key light. If you do not have key light, you can select color key or color range to remove the green screen from your shot. Now, within the effect controls for key light, select the eyedropper next to screen color and choose the green color behind your talent. This should remove the green color in the background of your video footage. If needed, you can adjust the settings in key light to remove any color spill or rough edges from your subject. Next, let's remove the green from the virtual studio monitor. Select your monitor layer, and click effect, keying, key light again to create another color key on the virtual studio layer. Now, select the eyedropper next to screen color and choose the green color in the monitor on your virtual set layer. This will knock out the green in the monitor allowing you to see the footage on the bottom layer. Now, you can adjust the layer underneath the studio layer to scale it into place. You can also edit the video on the bottom layer to change what appears on screen.